Costco announcing today they will do away with those special hours for senior citizens, healthcare workers and first responders next month. News 12's Gino Ganello has more on what some shoppers think about this change and what other stores have already done. As of April 18th, senior citizens, first responders and healthcare workers will no longer be able to utilize Costco's special shopping hours that began during the pandemic. They had it in the beginning, but I thought it was just short lived. I didn't think that they still had it. I think it's wrong, uh, especially for first responders and senior citizens. And they aren't the only store who has done away with this COVID staple. Stop and Shop sending this statement to News 12 today after they had already ended their special hours, saying while those dedicated hours have ended, we continue to put care for our people and communities at the forefront as we have since the beginning of the pandemic. Now, Long Islanders we spoke with here in Melville did share differing opinions on the situation. But most of them said they didn't understand the reasoning behind eliminating the special hours. I don't think it's a good idea because you just have too many older people like I'm mobile, but a lot of them are not. And to be in get involved in a crowded store. Let them the early hours are good right. because I've used them already. They should keep them really because these guys, uh, they got tough schedules. They, they work. Uh, all different hours. It's not a like it's not a nine to five job. While Costco and Stop and Shop have done away with these hours, though, you can still find them at places like Walmart, Target, and BJ's at varying hours and days. You can find that information on their websites. In Melville, Gino Ganello, News 12, Long Island. All right, thank you, Gino. Well, Whole Foods and King Cullen have also ended their special hours.